Oh boy, you guys are gonna hate me today. So I got a gear recommendation video for you guys. Just a quick one. I wanna go ahead and say, stop using ring lights, stop using the panel lights, stop turning them and blasting them off the walls and stuff like that to make them more softer lights and stuff. Get you actual lighting solutions that are going to help you with your YouTube videos, your live streams and your TikToks and stuff like that. I keep seeing people using the wrong lighting solutions for the wrong scenarios and everything and then their videos and stuff don't look as good as they possibly could and there's going to be a caveat you are going to need something that is going to allow you to capture i would say these lights or wherever to the best of their ability meaning when you're using a video capture source whether it be a camera or a actual webcam you're going to want something that allows you to control what's known as the iso the shutter speed and um, the f-stop the f-stops is just something that you see within uh, a software or actually on a camera i will go ahead and just say the actual webcam version of it because most people i know don't actually have a camera and if you have a camera then you probably already know about isos and shutter speeds and and apertures and and all the f-stops and everything like that of your lens so when it comes to actual webcams the ones that i'm going to recommend is the ones that i'm going to put on screen because these have actual companion software that allows you to control the color temperatures, the ISOs, the shutter speeds, and um, stuff like that. Usually the apertures are fixed or wherever on these types of webcams. But again, you want software that allows you to control these uh, certain features wherever of your webcam, because that means for one, the sensor is somewhat newer or up to date, whereas some of the cameras that are still, or webcams that are still out there on the market that are available that a lot of people still use are outdated sensors and everything. And that's why your picture quality doesn't look as good as somebody else's. And most of these webcams could be found underneath, I would say $200 or wherever, at least the two that I recommend. Um, so just you know shop around see what you can get or wherever if you do need to upgrade in that department now back to lighting what i recommend is the selling softbox i'll put on screen or wherever this is the smaller version or wherever i have a bigger version over here that's actually lighting me or whatever but they're essentially the same soft boxes from the companies or wherever just one's a little bit bigger this one however is the smallest one that's on offer there are smaller ones that are uh, offered online than this but i recommend this style because this is known as a umbrella style soft box meaning it opens and closes as an umbrella so if you ever need to tear it down move it or whatever and and you know set it back up it's going to be easy it's going to be painless and seamless the other soft boxes out there on the market are going to take you forever to put down and, and and put back up and usually they're more faulty meaning they can break and stuff like that if you don't be careful these again i've had this one for over two years the one that's lighting me on the side of wherever had it over a year and i never had any issues tearing them down moving around or anything like that the bigger ones you're going to need what's known as a light stand even the cheaper light stands i would not recommend with this one but the cheaper light stands will work with this but i still recommend attaching this to the desk um where you would put your typical panel light or ring light i told you to get rid of hopefully you don't throw it in the trash by now um but these soft boxes or wherever are still going to be a little bit front heavy so you're still going to want like i said a proper actual light stand that's going to attach to the light and then you attach this to the light through the bowens mount on the back i've been using this for my live streams that's why they look so good the footage and everything from them i'll probably put on screen a comparison to one of those panel lights or wherever that's super popular versus what's compared to this soft box and the lighting that you can get from it both are using the same camera same lenses and stuff like that and you could just see how those things are inferior to you know actually using proper lighting solutions these lights that you think are still too big for you then i recommend this light uh right here from Yulanzi. I'm doing a review wherever it should be up pretty soon on the YouTube channel within the next couple weeks. Um, this actually is a bundle that you can get with their own dome soft box. You can do this bundle wherever it's like 120 bucks or something like that, 130, uh, at least on at the time of recording. Again, little soft box you pull up the tabs or wherever once it's set up you can set and forget it double layer diffusion in the inside this light right here is a 40 watt uh, version there is a 60 watt version uh from Lonzi. i recommend that one as well if you need a if you think that you need a little bit more power a little bit more oomph for your stream setup or wherever because maybe you're only using one light you can go ahead and do that unfortunately these lights do not have remotes or apps or anything like that to turn on you're gonna have to use a switch on the back to turn it on but what's good about these these are mini bowman's mounts so they can take many soft boxes so you can see how small 
this setup is and it's still going to be better lighting for your uh, space and your YouTube videos and everything than ring lights and those panel lights. These are still going to be better. And again, this is battery powered, so I don't even have to always keep it plugged in if I don't want to. That's up to you. If that's what you want to do. You have different scenes and, and stuff that you can do on this light and you can control the color temperature and obviously the brightness. Turn this to about one or two right there. This is what it looks like without it. You see the difference however and this is pretty close i would have it further away but this is pretty close and you can already see like on on two that's how good this light's going to be now i would just leave this technically hooked up or wherever and i just have it on that light stand i was talking about that clamps to the desk and i just have it angled for top down shots and stuff like that to give a feel on the desk and give me feel on the on the lighting solution over here for these types of videos or wherever and like i said i highly recommend this light or wherever as long as you get in the bundle version there you can get both of them separately but usually that costs a little bit more and the bundle wherever is a little bit cheaper than getting them separately or wherever but sometimes that bundle actually goes on sale so again you're getting this for still i purchased this bundle for 120 dollars i recommend this highly or wherever i'm getting two of these or wherever to light your space especially for your setup when it comes to streams or tiktoks or anything like that the only downside like i said is that it doesn't come with the remote or anything like that and you'll probably have to get you like a cheap little um ball head like a little tripod ball head or wherever you can find them cheap or wherever inexpensive but you're going to want one of these so you can angle the light at a certain angle instead of just having it sit there on straight unfortunately it does not come inside the boxes or wherever for any of these so just keep that in mind that being said again i had put on screen what these things are go pick them up make some great awesome content Stop using ring lights, stop using old webcams and stuff like that that don't allow you to give you the best, uh, I would say, video capture quality, wherever that you can put forth. Go out, make some great content or wherever. Hopefully this helped out somebody. With that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.